in the first game of the season this season it was tough for Arsenal mm. I don't know if Arsenal deserved to get any points out of that game no it's going to be a tough night tonight because Patrick's got them playing well he's got a good young team uh, we all know Sellers Park is a tough place to play as well especially on a Monday night under the lights I'm sure the I've been to Sellers Park many occasions and uh, it's always a great atmosphere always fantastic but this young Arsenal team they're doing well I mean it's a bit, bit more resilience now uh, it was a big win against Villa uh, after losing against Liverpool they had to go up to uh, Villa Park uh, against a decent Villa side and, and they got the result they needed so it's going to be a test for them tonight but they've just got to go out and believe in themselves and, and try and play the way they've been playing because if they do that they'd be too probably a little bit too strong for Palace but if they don't then Palace will be there trying to trying to nick points off, off Arsenal you may expect Spurs to beat Newcastle um, because of the difference in experience in, in team and the, the way that uh, I know Newcastle mm. are building, but still it's it's Tottenham. But I'm not sure I expected them to beat them in the manner that they did yesterday. Well, what that's good, yeah. I mean, that's good for any Spurs fan to be delighted. Scoring five goals at home is always brilliant. Um, the goal before half-time is very important. Obviously, Newcastle getting the early... Li well, getting the first goal. If they can go in 1-0... Uh, leading 1-0 half time it's a totally different game but Davis what a ball win from Son he's such a good player Son I mean I, I, I watched it yesterday and he was fantastic every time he got the ball he made something happen and the pace he's got and he got his goal as well um, you know Kane and Son are, are fantastic absolutely brilliant players and if they can get the other guys around them playing to their capacity like they are doing at the moment, then they're, they're going to be there and thereabouts. I always thought that Tottenham, and it's out of Tottenham probably in Arsenal, who's going to get that fourth place. I think Manchester United, too, in, you know, they're inconsistent for me. Um, another not a great performance of the weekend, so it looks like they're out of it. West Ham, uh, what, they play two games more a day than, or three games more than Arsenal, I think they have. So that's going to probably go against them a little bit. And they'll be looking at the Europa League. Um, as, as, as a bigger trophy to win for, for West Ham's point of view which is a huge game Thursday against Leon at the London Stadium so I do put it out of Arsenal and, and Tottenham and obviously Tottenham have got to play Arsenal at home so that is going to be the crunch game whoever wins that one uh, for Arsenal's point. point of view you just want to try and go there and get a, get a point Really? You, you, you take a point if you're Arsenal, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, you would take a point. Look, if you win, it's moment, a bonus. If you win, yeah. You, you're going to win, though, essentially, aren't you? Who wins oh, yeah, at the Of course, you're going there to win. On, but if you on, do get a point, then it's, it's a decent point away from home. On current form, who wins that game? Um, I would go draw. Would you? Yeah, I would. I think both teams are playing very well now. As you mentioned, their Spurs are uh, three in a row, they've won, and they look like they're much more uh, confident going mm. forward and a bit more belief in the team at the moment. And same as same as Arsenal, you know they had that uh, loss against Liverpool, but other than that, they've been excellent. Really mm -hmm. have played well as well. I mean, I go back to the Man City game at the Emirates, and they they, they should have won that game. They lost, but they showed a lot of spirit, and I'm, I like the um, intensity in, in their performances at the moment. Mm -hmm. They're really having a go, and you can see the connection now with the fans as well. Arsenal much better between the, the fans and the, and the players it's a different place to be at the moment I think with Arsenal like a, a very different place and and, mm. and for everything he's doing on the pitch which is translating into the fan base as well I think one of the biggest things that he's achieved is repairing that damaged relationship and also you've got to look at you know Chelsea but you've got to be careful I mean it, Arsenal have got to go and play Chelsea yeah Stamford Bridge if they can somehow get a result against Chelsea which we see Brentford get the result on the weekend then suddenly there might be you know, third place might be up for grabs for if, Spurs or Arsenal. If they could just play the Chelsea that they played against um, Brentford at the weekend, Arsenal might be in a better place with it. Mm. But but Chelsea, I mean, I didn't see. I don't think I anyone saw coming, that result no, coming. Not at all. Do you think is this just a? I mean, is this just a blip? Because every now happen. and then, Chelsea, it does happen in the Chelsea League. can have a big blip. Can't yes, they, they can. Happens. But they, they're good Brown? at they're good at bouncing straight back, and mm. they have to now. I mean, they've got a massive Champions League game coming up, so. Um, it is a blip and hopefully uh, Tuchel will look at it like that and say look that's gone now let's, let's concentrate going forward and obviously Ch Chelsea's still got to play Arsenal at Stamford Bridge so that's going to be a big game and so yeah I, as I said before the the, um, the league at the moment is so exciting top and bottom you know you've got top four people fighting for the top four you've got the title race still massively uh, who's, what weights are going to go I don't know uh, and the bottom bottom three is still uh, wide open with Everton. Burnley play Everton on Wednesday, which is a massive game for both clubs. So 
I think it's, a, it's, it's been a brilliant Premier League this season. Yeah, really And I has. really missed it, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, as much as look, England's very important and I really want them to try and do well and win the World Cup, I'm, I'm gutted when, it, when we do get international break because I love the Premier League and the action every weekend is so good. Yeah, I was back with a bang this weekend, wasn't it? We'll talk more Premier League throughout the show.